You can have the best video ever, but if your thumbnail is bad, nobody's clicking it. So in this video, I'll show you how I make my thumbnails, not just step by step, but how I actually think when I make them. Let's get started. First, I start with the images like the characters in the backgrounds. Most of the time, I just use Pinterest. If I find a picture that's low quality or cropped, I'll open it in a new tab and use Google Image Search to find a higher quality version or the full image. Now when it comes to picking a character, if the video has a character in it, I'll pick one that actually appears in the video, usually the most popular or recognizable one. But if the video doesn't have any characters like my text animations tutorial, I'll just pick a popular one. In this case, I used Ichigo from Bleach. If parts of the image are cut off, like here where his shoulder is missing, I'll just paint it back in. Then I add text. I keep it simple, usually just saying what the video is about, like text animations or transitions. If I can't find a font that fits the thumbnail style, I use my go-to font. It's the same one that I used in my transitions and blebs shake thumbnails. Here's the font. Next, I pick the background. Again, I'm using Pinterest. I'll search something like bleach background scenery. Once I find one I like, I'll match the colors and tone to the theme of the thumbnail. Every thumbnail I make has a theme, usually dark and grunge, and the color scheme depends on the character or just what looks best. For this one, I went with a red and black theme. So I start by changing the background color to red, add vignette, and then bring in my text. Now I add the After Effects logo, since my videos are After Effects tutorials. I recolor it to match the theme, then texture the background so it doesn't look flat. If something feels off, like the balance or contrast, I'll tweak the colors until it feels right. To make the text stand out, I add Drop Shadow, Gradient, and Bevel and Emboss. I also add some warp text to give some shape to it. After that, I start experimenting, adding glow, texture, and color adjustments. For this one, I added a red glow around Ichigo and made him black and white. Then I added a radial board on the After Effects logo, a texture overlay on the character and text, and a soft aura behind him to make everything feel more dynamic. Finally, I hand draw an outline around the text. It's not perfect, and that's the point. It gives that grunge rough look I like, and it makes the text a little easier to read. Once everything's done, I just resize a few things, move the elements around, and fine tune it until it looks clean. This video isn't about copying my thumbnail, it's about learning how to make your own. Understand your theme, your character, your background, and how everything connects. That's how you build your style, and that's what makes people click.